Hey everybody, Zero here with an unboxing of Tales of Exilia for the uh, PS3. Um, this came out like two years ago in Japan, but we're finally getting it stateside now. Um, and yes, it is pronounced Exilia. Um, some people just call it Zilia, but that's not correct, and I don't know why people keep calling it that. Um, so as long as you purchase this um, during the first shipment of the game, um, you will get upgraded for free to the limited edition. It just comes with some bonus stuff, which is why I'm doing an unboxing. There's also a collector's edition that you could have pre-ordered for $100, and that comes with all this stuff, plus a figure of Mila. Um, it's a pretty large figure, actually. Uh, one of the really high-quality ones you'd buy from, like, an anime store. Um, and it also comes with an art book. So I chose to go with this one just because it was cheaper. Um, and... Uh, it just kind of makes me sad that uh, games like Madden and Call of Duty sell like a million copies in their first day. And this game, stuff like this, JRPGs, um, I pre-ordered this at uh, my local like mom and pop shop game store. And they only got one copy in because I pre-ordered it. Um, the Target store that I work at got two copies in. Um, and GameStop probably only got like a handful in. So it just makes me sad that more people aren't playing these really good JRPGs. So gonna unbox this now um, it's just got like the saran wrap type uh, shrink wrap on it it's really easy to open so uh, this is the uh, I believe today's the 6th um, that this came out 6th of August um, you can pick it up today if you can find it anywhere if you didn't pre-order it then good luck So, let's see here. We got uh, this uh, character uh, book. It's kind of like the art book, but it's not as large. It um, just has the um, like profile pictures. Um, like if you've ever played a Tales game before, there's like these skits, and it'll show like a little graphic of the character while they're talking. So it shows like artwork on the left, and then the character portraits on the right for all the characters in the game so it's not very thick but um, it's still something cool to have especially since I love the artwork of the characters in the uh, Tales games um, it's, this is the 15th anniversary of the Tales series by the way um, this is the actual game itself nothing special um, as far as this by getting the limited edition and then also inside the box there should be a soundtrack CD this says Tales of Exilia Music CD, and on the back there are uh, 18 tracks. Or, no, I'm sorry, 12 tracks. Um, and I believe if you get the Collector's Edition, it also comes with 12 tracks. So, pretty sure the CD is the same um, both ways. It's just in a little cardboard sleeve. It's not like anything, it's not in a jewel case or anything fancy. Um, obviously, this is a long, long RPG, uh, at least like 40 to 60 hours. Um, so there's probably a lot of music in this game. This is probably just like overworld theme, main battle theme, you know, boss theme, some just really key moments in the game. That's probably what this music is from. Um,. This is just the outer cardboard box. The back of it looks the same as the uh, the PS3 box for the most part, except this shows like all the stuff that it comes with. Um, so, like I said, I don't have the collector's edition, so I can't unbox that with the Mila figure. Um, I actually would have preferred a figure of um, the other. You can choose two heroes in this game to pick. You can pick from one of the two to play the game. Um, and I would have actually preferred a figure of Jude, and uh, they do make a figure of him. I forget what company makes it, but you can order it offline from like PlayAsia.com. Um, but it's like a hundred bucks, so um, that pretty much sums it up. Um, I hope you guys uh, go out and get this game if you can find it, because it's uh, we really need to support our JRPGs, and then maybe we'll start getting more of them in America, and they'll start selling better. So. Um, until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.